So today we are in Mexico City, the capital of Mexico. Um, admittedly somewhere that we don't really know that much about, so we're excited to go explore and look around today. It's also my birthday, so we can try and find somewhere fun for breakfast. Yeah. Let's go! So one thing we've missed whilst travelling during Covid has been buffet breakfast. So we've come to the Soft Hotel on the way to Chapultepec Park um, and we come to their restaurant which is on the 12th floor called Alta and they have a breakfast buffet over there and we've got an now our favourite things, a variety of little things and breads and lovely lovely food. We're both very happy. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> One thing that we've missed about Mexico is the fruit is so good and so fresh and juicy. I think we've had, had about five plates each. <laughs> um, we're going to go now. Uh, we're going to head to Chapultepec Park, which is apparently twice as big as Central Park in New York. So it's going to take us all day to walk around. It's very exciting. A few moments later. Ah. I didn't think they would. They just jumped off. I don't understand. So we've just found out. So this is called the Danza de las de las Voladores, um, which is like flying pole, and it originated from the Aztec um, time. And it was apparently done, they think, to kind of ask the gods to end a drought. But yeah, it's tradition to climb a 30 meter pole and jump off it with ropes it's that was amazing and for no we didn't even know this is in the middle of the park for no reason incredible our first taste of aztec culture really fantastic outfits
Mercado Roma for a quick drink, every little IPA. But you've got to see all the different places that are here, it's amazing. So, although Mercato Roma uh, looked really fun downstairs, actually when we kind of, upon closer inspection, when I was filming that then, there wasn't actually that much food there, no. and a lot of the places weren't even open. So I don't know if it's COVID, I'm not sure if it's like a midweek Wednesday thing, but we didn't see enough to warrant our custom tonight. Yeah. So we're on the lookout for some more place in the Roma, in the Roma neighborhood, yeah. and there's so many fun places here. We love this part of Mexico City. It's a lovely thunderstorm. So we are at Daikoku, a little Japanese ramen place, and some sushi. Got some sushi, got some sake, can't buy. <laughs> butcher this pronunciation. Teotihuacan. Teotihuacan. Teotihuacan, um, which is a massive Aztec civilization, the border of Mexico City. Um, it was actually originally, very interestingly, started at about 300 BC by a civilization that wasn't the Mayans. And I don't know who they actually were, but they left at around 800 AD. Don't know why. Big mystery. Anyway, Aztecs came, took over, built some more temples, um, and we are heading right now to one of the most famous ones, which is the Temple of the Sun and the Temple of the Moon. Why is she running? No need. But there she is, running for information. What have you learnt? So, we are in the Avenue of the Dead, which is a very ominous name. But, it doesn't say that there, but we did some research. So the Aztecs called it the Avenue of the Dead because they thought that the temples along here were actually tombs from the previous civilization. But that's actually not true. There were no tombs. So now it's just called the Avenue of the Dead for no reason. There you go. Let's continue on the Avenue of the Dead. of the sun and it's very sad because we can't climb up it that's basically the main reason to come here to climb up and see across to the other temple apparently due to covid which makes no sense it's so spaced out
incredible views, not just of the ruins, but also the mountains surrounding Mexico City. Um, we are now hopefully going to have some late breakfast slash early lunch in the cave. So we are at La Gruta. Come and check this place out. barbecue chicken dish barbecue chicken dish um, yeah it's definitely more expensive than what you normally pay for food but um, I think the surroundings make up for it let's tuck in Alright, we are done with Mexico City and now we are off to Oaxaca. 